Hey hey everyone, Crawlerpix here, and today I thought I would do a bit of real-time Alice in Wonderland diamond painting. So, here we go! <laughs> a lot of people were curious as to um, how it goes for me in real-time, you know, as far as my speed and such, and yeah, so <laughs> here it is, you can see it, all the mistakes that I make and such. You can see the number of times that I spill these diamonds, so, yeah. Hopefully I can give you um, a good representation of how fast I go, but I I am also talking, so. Um, since I've already got my light box off, I will be starting with the lighter colors. So, I always try to tackle the eyes first for some reason, because... In this particular diamond painting, um... They have I, T, and L, and they're all like these really light colors. So the one is like a very, very light blue. One is white, and one is a very light pinkish cream color. It's ridiculous. I'm like, could you, did you have to pick those symbols for such close colors? Close colors, close symbols, it's a nightmare for me, so, yeah. So, just getting started here. Yep, got some wax that's come off. I just loaded up my pen, so I often get, you know, some excess wax when I first start. But then after that, it really tends to settle down. And just implementing the checkerboard pattern here. I do find that sometimes I think a little too hard about the checkerboard pattern when really, come on, it's not necessary to think so hard about it. I mean, you're going to fill it in anyways, but me, I'm like, it's got to be the perfect checkerboard when it really doesn't. So I just, <laughs> I'm always putting additional stress on myself for no reason, for no reason. So yeah, I'm always talking about how um, I like to go fast or things are going slow or something like that. That's just me. I like to go fast. That's not to say that, well, actually, it's to say that I enjoy going fast. That makes me happy. So don't let it dictate how you should do your crafts. You go at the speed that works for you. And that makes you happy. That's what's most important. Because diamond painting is supposed to be super relaxing. And, you know, happiness inducing. And just, you know, overall good stuff. And trying to go as fast as I can just makes me happy. This isn't as fast as I can go. I think I must be a little bit nervous. <laughs> Sometimes I do find that my application technique changes a little bit. Like I will, sometimes I'll do checkerboard of all the areas first and then go back and fill them in, like for the whole section that I'm working on and then I'll fill them in. But lately I found that I've just been doing checkerboard for one area and then filling that one area in that one little bit. Uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> I really have no idea. I guess I just like to change things up a little. Or maybe it, it just makes me feel more accomplished when I've finished off a bit. A block of color. So yeah, this is all me talking. You should be able to hear the little clicks of the diamonds. This has not been edited or anything. This is not a voice over. <laughs> it's me. 
something gets edited, it's because I said something stupid. <laughs> Moving on. I don't think I'm going particularly fast. Not really. Ugh, get straight. I think everyone has different um, shuffling methods as well, the diamonds, like when they use the, the tray and how they, you know, shake the tray to get the diamonds upright. How do you guys do it? I tend to shuffle down towards one end so that it leaves only the upright ones at the top. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Let's see. Next color. Uh, this Tabilla pen is still working out quite well. Um, I would suggest if you've purchased one of these, try holding it different ways because um, you might find that the an unconventional way to hold it will be a lot more comfortable for you. So I say give it a try. Don't conform. That being said, I'm holding it the normal way, I think. I think, well, no. My fingers are in the grooves, but I don't hold it like I hold a pen. I don't think. No, I don't hold a pen like that. I don't write like that. <laughs> Had to think about it. I do more diamond painting than writing these days, so. I really think this is going to be a boring video because, um, yeah, I don't have too much to say, but uh, no, what are you doing? Yeah. And I think I'm going to start putting, so this is a piece of um, fabric softener, fabric, uh, dryer, dryer sheets. <laughs> Forgot the name of it. This is um, some dryer sheets. Um, that I've put in to keep the diamonds from, you know, static sticking together, but they keep coming out when I pour them out. So I'm going to start transferring them to like a temporary container and then I'll keep them in here for when I'm ready to do my next project. Yep. There you go. Sometimes. So like I've got a funky diamond here. One, it's the wrong color Two, It's completely the wrong shape. So I tend to get those out first if I see them, if I see them. And they go into my trash bucket for diamonds. So yeah, usually I'm in a room by myself when I'm diamond painting. So usually I'm watching TV or listening to music um, and not really talking. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun. I just say whatever pops into my head, right? <laughs> right, right, no, not right. But yeah, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but a few people have requested um, 
a real-time video so yeah here you go <laughs> I hope this is kind of sort of interesting if you're looking for tips on going faster I, I can't really say that I have any um, a lot of the times it's usually um, really simple things that you don't think of until you know someone points it out and you're like oh yeah I should have thought about that um, so some of it was um, oh, there's another dryer sheet some of it is moving the tray with you in your area um, in the sorry I'm just putting this away in the peacock one that I did I constantly had the tray moving with me instead of you know going having the tray in one place and moving it around but I moved the tray with me and that believe it or not helps to go faster as well because you have less travel time <laughs> from the tray to the canvas basically it may not sound like much but oddly enough it makes a difference so that's my tip of the day <laughs> I'm actually, so I'm on the third color now um, for this session here, and I'm really surprised. Um, I don't think I've missed any yet, because quite often I find that, you know, especially at the start of a section, because, you know, it's so bare, there are no diamonds laid down, um, that I quite often work on a color, and then once I think I'm done, and I put that color away, I find that I've missed a few. Like, I just put that color away. That sucks. So then, <laughs> instead of getting that color back out sometimes, I just leave it. Because I was like, I've probably missed others, and I'll see it a lot more clearly once there are more diamonds on the canvas. So, I'll just give up on that. <laughs> And that looks like that's it. So lately, yeah, because it's really hard to see these light colors. Yeah, just working with the... Oh, there's a crease in this one. Dang it. I should have thought about that before. Um, I think I'm just going to have to let it go on this one. So because it's so hard to see these light colors... Um, yeah, I've been doing them with the light box off, and I hope that has worked out better for everyone. Um, also with the light colors, not having the light box on it doesn't make any difference for me. Because I can still see the symbols quite clearly. So then I try to do all the light colors I can before I turn the light, back, light box back on. Miracle tool, that thing. Light box. Yep. <laughs> That's all I've got at the moment. I'm surprised these are actually going on quite straight. And with this Stabilo pin, I, I mean, it's probably in my head, but I feel that um, when I'm picking up the square diamonds, they situate themselves a lot better. So they're less rotated than when I was using the pick me up pen or even the ballpoint pen. So I find it, it just makes me feel better because um, they tend to go on straight more often. So that's less work. <laughs> And just a tad more relaxing. And that's it. Alright, so that's it for this light yellow color. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I just wanted to do a, a short video showing um, how much I get done in, say, like 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, it's not a whole lot. 
and I might have slowed down a bit because I was also talking at the same time and usually I can multitask better than that but when it comes to talking and crafts those two just don't mesh well for me so <laughs> yeah slows down drastically on either end there but yeah that's it for now I will continue this in the next um, Alice update. But yeah, I really do hope that you have enjoyed. Let me know that if you have any questions or recommendations or any comments like that. Um, just please let me know in the bottom there. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!